So, hi everyone. I uh, just wanted to look at the uh, 100 or so, a little bit less than that, of course, um, top companies in Turkey. Um, and this is kind of a hard project when you think about it. There's a lot of companies, uh, 100 or so, let's say, in this called the Best 100. Um, you can look it up uh, under UX 100 or maybe BIST 100. Um, and basically that's the ticker for the uh, by volume and by market size um, of the top 100 companies in Turkey. So why study Turkey? Well, it's super important. Um, I would say it's perhaps the most important country in the Middle East. And uh, basically it's kind of a transitional area. So it's like close as you see here in this map. This is Turkey, and it's on the edge of Europe here. So as you kind of like look at what's going on overall here, um, you can kind of see that uh, these, uh, these little spots are people. Um, but basically, uh, it's the nicer area to live um, in heading into the Middle East. Um, a lot of coastline here, part of the Mediterranean, just overall awesome country. So I wanted to look at what are the companies uh, who are who's like where would you work if you lived in Turkey um, and basically that's the topic uh, that we're gonna look at here uh, so the funny thing is you can just uh, right here it says UX 100 and you can just uh, basically look at what the hundred top companies or so have been doing since about uh, 1998 and uh, in general um, they've been going up uh, been kind of a <clears throat> relatively uh, stable uh, point since you might say uh, 2012 2013 um, with kind of a jump here in 2016 so you see these um, high points here and then kind of relatively low point in 2018 and then kind of stable so this is a price oscillator on the bottom here and then these are just two highlighted points in 2000 and 2009 um, but basically giving you an overview of what's going on in these top 100 or so companies in Turkey. So uh, if you do a quick search here, I did BIST 100 Wikipedia. The first one that shows up here is this. Um, and if you scroll down here to the very bottom, they list some of these. Um, so you can see these. And what I did is I essentially opened up every single one of these guys so I don't know if I want to get through all these I'm gonna to try to um, and hopefully you'll find some very interesting discoveries in this process hello everyone I don't know if I'm gonna get through all this but uh, basically we're gonna try to look at the abyss 100 here uh, so what I did is I went and did this little uh, search here on this page and uh, basically went to this page and then scrolled down to the bottom here. And uh, at the bottom is this BIST. And I basically clicked on everything. So all these tabs are these guys here. And it's even more than just these, but I basically went through the ones that I thought were most interesting. Um, and I guess we'll start with the largest and see how far we make it. Um, might only do a few of these. We'll see if this takes days, but to do this research but anyway so this here is what I believe is the largest company in Turkey um, and it says right here it is um, and it's a global 500 so it's one of the 500 largest in the world um, and you can see the revenues here uh, you got to divide this by essentially eight so um, to get the dollar amount um, but uh, a little the history here uh, all these companies I was surprised that even going through that other list of the best um, you see many of these companies are kind of go back to these guys um, so certainly this is a big story um, and I thought maybe what we'll do is look at where they're located here so I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna look at their geolocation and uh, this is their geolocation and I'm just going to grab the degrees minutes second here copy that and we're going to transition over here to this map and all right I'm, I'm just working on this little thing right now so this is their headquarters and we're going to zoom in here and look at that 
So this is the first time I've actually looked at this, and I'm gonna have to turn off. It looks really bad right now because I got all these other things on. So we're just gonna turn off this. So right there is essentially their headquarters. And this is the largest company in Turkey and one of the largest companies in the world. So there is a lot to say about this location. I know uh, one of the reasons I'm doing Turkey is because I know a little bit about Turkey. And uh, basically the old part of Tur uh, the part that a lot of people are familiar with is over here. And uh, but there's this whole other part of Turkey. So it's basically, you know, uh, the west and the east and basically heading out into the Middle East on the right here. So, uh, but it's hard to say which is better to live in or not. Um, certainly there's a lot of population heading off into this way. Turkey does kind of end, and I'm not sure where, but uh, it does end pretty, th and this has been one of the big conflicts about the whole area. But you can see Basra, Basra, and uh, actually, the apostles of Jesus probably headed through here. Um, there's, uh, you know, after Jesus died, or maybe even during his life, uh, which is basically 2,000 years ago, uh, headed up from Israel, um, which is way far away from here. But anyway, not that far, but, uh, you know, hundreds of miles. Uh, and basically, this is, uh, this is this company... Um, that is the largest in Turkey. So you can kind of see what's going on here, you know, pretty close to the bridge. Um, this is loading up kind of the buildings here, and you'll start to see that the main downtown area, uh, like a lot of these old cities that have been around for thousands of years, had to build their new city somewhere else. And it's really a shame that this isn't loading all the buildings but in 3D, but uh, you can kind of see... And you know what? I messed up on this, so I need to turn off the uh, tree 3D stuff. And I don't know what's going on here. So maybe it's still trying to load up three-dimensional trees. Holy cow. So that building is the building. Um, and uh, I don't know what it's doing, but it's got some weird, uh, weird uh, polygon grabbing thing here but uh, you can kind of see it's on a hill here um, and that would be an interesting location maybe hard to get to if you have to drive in for work you kind of locked in but gosh it looks like a fortress actually they got walls everywhere and this is pretty interesting actually just to see what's all going on here at the uh, largest company in Turkey so Kind of a surprising area. Uh, you can see there's like a park area, maybe some houses out in this way. And uh, I have it to make it the hills look a little bit larger than maybe they actually look. But uh, and uh, there's a little Wikipedia entry here, maybe. Uh, anyway, but uh, just interesting just to see where this largest company in Turkey is located. And I'm sorry if I'm spending a lot of time on this first one, but uh, but basically it will hopefully give us a better idea for everything. Uh, and you can kind of see that a lot of these Wikipedia entries, I love to have them there because it shows you a little bit more about where the personal cool spots are that, that a lot of people are familiar with. And this area here and over here is probably most of the interesting historical monuments you can almost see there's like two of these turkey areas right so there's like this area and then the main part of turkey heading off into this way uh but uh anyway so that's that's this guy uh let's go back to uh the uh the regular look at them so basically uh they're involved in some energy automotive consumer durable finance retail construction tourism shipping defense information technology investment and food and uh just for fun we should probably look at their website and load that up it's probably going to load from looks like it's loading from turkey here so dot tr and it's just taking a while and i've actually already seen this website before i was like really shocked at how plain and simple this is and uh maybe they got an about page here we can kind of look at and see 
maybe that's what the building looks like up on that hill that we looked at. Um, but, uh, 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 kind of a funny name here, but geez. Anyway, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so kind of a basic idea for, uh, the business and we'll go into others in a moment here. Uh, so just a little bit of history about the founder. Um, you know, the interesting thing is, is that, uh, you know, this is, uh, Basically, the time period is in the past, basically about 80, 100 years ago. And um, he, this guy was born in this neighborhood called Ankara. And we'll take a, hopefully take a look at that. Um, but you can see, interestingly, he started with a small grocery store um, and then became a representative for Ford Motor Company and Standard Oil, um, and which is presently this mobile. So... Uh, but basically, to, just to give you an idea, that's kind of where this started. Um, let's see if we can open up Ankara just to see the town. Um, and uh, you can kind of see, we'll just open this up in a new tab and see. But uh, kind of get basic idea for where it is. So Ankara is the capital. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, it's pretty far away from Istanbul. So... Uh, you know, centrally located, and certainly there's a lot of mysterious things I'll have to say about Ankara, but uh, maybe we can uh, grab that geolocation, and uh, I'll switch over here to the uh, view. We could just look at the capital really quick because a lot of businesses all around have kind of relocated their locations to the capitals, and uh, here you can see... Uh, and uh, this would be Ankara. So uh, it's kind of loading up here and seeing what's kind of a very different town than Istanbul. Istanbul would be a heck of a lot nicer to live in, but uh, but this would be different. So um, you can see uh, basically what's going on. Probably had to drive out through roads like this or maybe out into here to get out to uh, Istanbul but uh, basically that's the capital um, and uh, some weird geological things showing up here um, maybe a lot of mining uh, which we're gonna look at later um, but uh, not as much as some areas but some interesting maybe um, but yeah just uh, to get us going on this uh, so the interesting thing about these guys is that you can uh, trade them uh, from the New York Stock Exchange under this ticker it uh, has a Y at the end um, and uh, then, uh, but basically it's it's not the actual company though, but uh, you can see their address here. Um, maybe that's the same and then the same thing and then all the people involved with their company. But uh, but yeah, the, the charts are pretty interesting here to see. Um, you can kind of see some of the volume profile over the years. So you can see they're pretty low right now. And on average, they've been way up here. Um, you know, they, I don't know, man. These guys seem a little bit uh, interesting, but uh, uh, certainly they're pretty low right now. But, uh, um, you know, there's some, uh, there's a lot to study here. So what also is interesting is we could maybe look up these other guys later. Um, now, I have tried to invest in some of these. I haven't yet invested in these guys yet, but... Uh, they are the largest company in Turkey, so uh, it would be interesting to maybe look at them in more detail. I'm going to keep them up here. I'm just going to bring this right over here. And uh, next, we're going to go to these guys. Um, I just kind of put this in order of interest. Uh, we might go through this quickly or fast. Just look through it, um, and you can see a protest sign here. We'll maybe even try to load up there web page so one of the reasons I want to check them out is because they're in uh, mining publishing and broadcasting which is pretty diverse so and I'm just interested in media and uh, they own uh, two TV and radio stations um, this uh, uh, and you know it just was interesting to see so in the media side you can see Kaza holding so it looks like here they don't really say much about the media stuff, interestingly, but it looks like mainly kind of mining. Kind of fun to look at the uh, different language. Um, but uh, we can maybe get this translated. Try to translate this here. 
and uh, so this is their translated version um, and it just says uh, mining energy build logistics aviation food tourism insurance so nothing even about media so uh, maybe these uh, pages wrong um, but it looks like they're involved in a lot of stuff um, just uh, I'd have to maybe look at them a little more carefully so I'm just gonna close these guys out. Maybe they'd be interesting to see for uh, mining or something. Um, but uh, now here's another one uh, called Tav Airports, right? <sighs> and uh, let's go into the details here in a second. Okay, hi everyone. I went and took a walk and some other things. Getting pretty stressful, but I'm glad I got back here and found these guys. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I do try to buy some of these companies um, sometimes, but it just seems awesome. You know, this is the Turkish airport operator, um, and uh, they have about a million flights and 152 million passengers in 2018. So I think airports are awesome. I think, I think it's a luxury, and I think it's great to support helping people travel. Um, I tried to start a moving company once. It was a real difficult thing, but so, you know, transportation is tough. Um, but anyway, you can just see some details here. Uh, I like to find out, I like seeing a lot of employees. That's kind of cool to be working at a big company there. Uh, you can see the revenue is in euros. Uh, so this is more than dollars. So that's almost a billion dollars. Um, looks like they even got a financial results let's just try to load that up but um, these are the other airports looks like they got some airports in uh, northern Africa Saudi Arabia and of course Turkey um, Latvia Kazakhstan um, and uh, just a whole bunch of others so pretty cool uh, and um, I have their website here or it looks like this is their um, full year financial report and you can kind of see the map here of uh, some of their uh, companies that they're working with um, I just let's take a quick look so actually even South America awesome so um, yeah that's uh, that's kind of a lot of airports um, and uh, yeah I just you know this financial reports and it's in English, you know, sometimes um, some of these foreign guys don't have English. Uh, not sure what these charts are, but some other charts. Just like to go through here quickly and see if they got anything else cool. Fairly basics, basic report. Um, and uh, maybe they got some, uh, this looks a little different here, showing... Um, shareholder structure but anyway uh but yeah and then i also got uh, a little stock ticker here showing what's been going on they've been having a lot of trouble for many many years going down and down but the pe ratio looks pretty good so uh and uh we might be able to even get the address here and uh what i'm gonna try to do is look them up i'm gonna transition to the map here and we're gonna try to find their headquarters so I'm just going to type in their address here and search for it. See if it comes up with anything. Oh, jeez. All right. Going to the headquarters. Oh, whoa. Well, Tath. Not sure if this is it, but uh, could be. Kind of pretty far away from everything, interestingly. Or right, wait. So we're, what, are we, what are we talking about? So we're actually kind of on the north side um, of Turkey kind of off in the hills here so near the highway and huh well sometimes it, I don't know I, I I like airport companies that are close to the airport um, this looks pretty far from the airport but maybe I'm wrong and I'm not sure where the airport is here in Turkey but um, let's see if we can even spot it um, but uh, maybe that's the airport over here and uh, there's probably some other airport on this side. I just can't spot it right off the top here. But um, anyway, so you can kind of get an idea for where they're located. I'm going to switch back here to the other view. 
And uh, yeah, so basically this is their website. Um, looks like they got some traffic growth and uh, in three continents and all this kind of stuff. Airport operations. And uh, I'm particularly interested in uh, Tunisia. It's right across from Italy. If you haven't heard of Tunisia, it's uh, really pretty awesome little country. Um, not even little, but it's pretty big size and got a cool little port right on the Mediterranean. But anyway, um, that's them. Plus they had South America, but it doesn't show um, investor relations, sustainability. Sometimes there's a lot of really good information on our sustainability. And, uh, well, looks like it's maybe having some trouble loading here. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, but basically, if we want to go back to the chart here, we can kind of see just a quick idea. I'm going to follow these guys. Oh, geez, not signed in, it says. That's strange. Uh, but uh, on this chart, I really like doing a, a volume profile, and you can kind of see it's been going on. They've had a lot of trading and then just really dropped. Had kind of a second wave drop, too. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just interesting company to take a look at. Um, sometimes I like uh, volumes a lot to study, and we can just look at the price volume trend. And we can do on a field here and just make it look colorful. So you can kind of see that uh, it's been fairly flat. Then the sudden drop. So even this drop wasn't really... It's only a small number of people trading this stock. So you can see on a given day here, given week, um, looking for volume, 200 shares traded. Not much at all. But that's fine. I'm just interested in the company. You know, I'm not trying to make big bucks here. I mean, I, I guess it would be nice. But anyway, so you can see that this is probably related to just not a whole lot of people having uh, well just not a lot of uh, shares being traded so up back in here you can see 500 thousand couple thousand per week so it could be in tens of thousands per week too but that goes back a ways and you can see they really only started back in around 2014. But anyway, so just a real quick review of these guys. Uh, so, not sure what this is all about here, but this is the world's busiest airports by passengers. Cargo is also super interesting, um, but basically you can see uh, Turkey down here. Um, where was Turkey? Around 28 or so, um, and certainly uh, being in this range of about 50 million passengers, I believe this is per year, total passengers, uh, you know, there's a lot of places, so you could be almost in the top 10 uh, at 50 or 60 million. Um, and uh, certainly, I don't know if I even believe these statistics, like Denver being busier than Istanbul. I don't know. Uh, or New Delhi Airport. Um, maybe that's busier, but anyway. Uh, but about as many passengers as, say, uh, JFK Airport in uh, New York. Um, or as busy as uh, San Francisco is basically Istanbul's uh, busyness. Uh, so funny deal here. Um, this company, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Ba Asi Badam Healthcare. So they have a lot of employees and uh, a lot of different hospitals, all that kind of stuff. But I went to their website. It doesn't look too helpful even um i was expecting something much more professional and uh I, i'm not even sure so i mean uh heart care for instance anyway yes yeah, so basically uh it's hard to even uh it says the largest shareholder is this and it does say something about a public offering and some other things but uh you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not good to, uh, looks like a cool little, cool, interesting looking hospital here. Kind of taking some while to load. Uh, but uh, you can kind of see uh, basically what they're doing. Uh, it looks like they're uh, 
So basically, this is the big hospital in uh, Turkey, um, and the company that's working with them, and uh, just interesting to know about. Okay, so here is, I believe, one of the largest or uh, first national insurance company in Turkey, and um, kind of interesting follow up from healthcare, right? So a lot of times. Healthcare is about insurance, um, and actually we got the address here, so I'm gonna try to load that up and uh, see where we are for this insurance place. Um, but uh, you kind of get some idea. It was a started as a bank, um, and uh, then it became an insurance company. So uh, looks like it did get it loaded up here. So I'm going to transition to the other screen. And it's you can kind of see where it's located here. So if you're familiar with this, you can kind of get the hang of things. And uh, looks like a lot of these companies are kind of moving in back in the edge. Um, and uh, that would be interesting, just uh, close to the freeway there, but kind of out further away. You can see some of the buildings starting to pop up here. So it's not quite 3D yet, but. Uh, but uh, give you an idea, kind of see the backdrop. It's interesting to see the hills. Um, that was super interesting to see, kind of just the vague, kind of see the little freeway running through there, kind of heading off into work land, and you can see the freeway bridge here, and heading out there. So. That's insurance land for you in Turkey, and um, certainly far away from a lot of the things. So here's an interesting company called Akbank. I love the name. And uh, I think I even got a picture of one of their buildings here. Kind of see what their building looks like. Oh, Akbank. Um, interesting look to it, uh, and as well as there's some uh, location for them in Istanbul, and uh, the original family that uh, started this bank, um, and they are one of the wealthiest families in Turkey and on the Forbes billionaire list, um, and it looks like they got between twenty and thirty billion dollars. Dang, right, a lot of money, and you wonder like how do they get all that money? So supposed to be in the bank right um, but uh, anyway and it looks like uh, they're also working with this Pegasus Airlines which we'll also look at but Akbank uh, I'm gonna switch over here to the uh, view of Istanbul let me see if I can transition here so here again is Istanbul and these red dots are the location of Akbank so you let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see kind of the greater picture here. So basically Mediterranean. Anyway, so uh, we'll look in here at Akbank. So uh, there's this whole area here, and I'm not, I wish it would load up all the buildings, and maybe this is all the buildings. It's, uh, you know, very different, right? Some places, like I've looked at Rio, and there's just tall buildings everywhere, and here not so much. Um... And you can kind of see these these Ock Bank buildings. And interestingly, I'm going to try to study this one, but this is S Bank. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And a very interesting being, a building here, Sifir of Istanbul. And that kind of gives you a hint that uh, this whole area is related to uh, Dubai um, and the rest of the Middle East. Um, and you wonder, uh, did it really start? In the Middle East, or did it start in Turkey, or what? And uh, interesting thing is that this is all heading off. This side is kind of heading off towards Europe, and maybe the more desirable side to live on um, and to work on. So, but you can kind of see. I can just uh, see what these buildings look like, and there's little Wikipedia entries here. It looks like they got a private bank building and look at that little mountain north of big anyway so you can kind of see how this all is it's an interesting little area um 
and uh, with Akbank here right there on the um, and heading off towards the water so you might even be able to see see part of the water here and it's kind of interesting like you know it's just maybe just too difficult at the time these buildings were built to uh, build something basically along the waterfront and uh, and besides it keeps the waterfront a little bit more private and uh, quiet and interesting for families and friends and just fun things to do uh, so uh, I'm just thinking here I'm gonna transition back to Akbank and uh, I do own a little bit of these shares here um, just like one share or something just to but uh, it is interesting you can kind of see the volume profile here let's uh, see if we can zoom out and uh, you can see there uh, they've really struggled here recently the coronavirus and just really fallen down and it's been kind of a buyback and then a steady sailing out in terms of volume and I th think we can add the balance. unbalanced volume I like to usually add that I'll just add it as a green ticker here so the on balance volume kind of shows you just the volume what's been happening so the volume has actually steadily been increasing and some buying um, so uh, kind of a debate between the volume and uh, everything else um, but uh, anyway I hope you've liked this tour um, this is the family here that runs the Bank, and we're gonna go into something else here in a moment um, so a quick piece of history is that this guy uh, started this other bank um, which is one of the largest banks in Turkey. Um, he was the first president of Turkey. Um, and uh, I don't know, you know, just a bunch of stuff about him here. Um, and uh, some maybe of his economic policies and, and whatnot. But uh, interesting to know. So I'm not even sure where to begin with this. Um, but uh, basically we got a bunch of little pipeline projects. Um... And I'm, you know, the, there's all these companies listed on their exchange, but uh, basically uh, this was kind of one idea here. And uh, in this details here, it says it's about a thousand miles. Um, so uh, there's also this uh, point into Russia and uh, you know, uh, there's another one. Um, that uh, is supposed to, this is kind of showing a bigger part of the picture, right? So that, um, you know, Russian oil coming here and then some other lines going into Europe and uh, and then further just kind of seeing the bigger picture here. Um, and basically the general idea here is that uh, a lot of people were saying, well, this is all coming from Russia want to just bring it up from Iraq or Iran. So these are kind of like pre-stage projects. Um, and you can kind of see this one here um, and so on. So quite a lot of different um, questions and I've heard uh, about this one here um, kind of really causing some problems for uh, Russia because each of these countries want their money from this pipeline so uh and uh it, it's just uh you know a lot of work building these things so uh but uh, interesting to see um just like overall what's going on here um certainly this uh, main map uh is really interesting but it doesn't really give you the idea that essentially what's going on here is they're trying to get stuff out of Iraq and if you read in here um, you know in, in these different plants essentially that's what they say in the fine print here so Turkey uh, does have I think some oil but obviously there's way more in the Middle East so that's kind of what's uh, going on um, so a funny part about doing a study like this is that uh, when you look at something like this um, in terms of what did Turkey export, you can see, uh, start to see, and this is what I, what I did is I did the settings for profit, which is the net. Um, and you can see that of the $80 billion uh, that they made, um, 
basically 25% of that was tourism. So that's quite a lot. That's like one fourth, right? And the other, you know, maybe 25% is in clothing. Um, and some of the largest companies in Turkey are related to uh, cotton industry. Um, and this doesn't really show like who the companies are, um, but you can also see vehicles was exported um, and then food uh, being almost about 25%. So um, my suspicion is that, um, you know, all of these areas, really tourism is great in Turkey. It's a great place to be. Um, but a lot of that is just people need to move out of the Middle East and maybe into a place like Turkey or Iran, um, you know, just uh, or even North Africa. Um, and uh, it's just hard. Um, you know, uh, there's certain places in the Middle East you might want to live and there's certain places you might not. Um, and Turkey is a great place. So um, I guess we can look at imports. This is kind of the bad side of things. So. You know, basically they're importing, you can see here, a lot of other things, plastics, electrical machinery, aircraft, uh, and uh, you can kind of see their export map um, here. So, and if you zoom in, you can kind of see some details, right? So a lot of the exports, uh, you know, actually it's going to Iraq. Um, and um, that, um, to me, I mean, you know, in terms of energy, it's probably going the other way. But, um, but it's interesting to think about that. Um, here's Iraq, right? And just what's going on in these other places. So Romania is a big partner and Spain. Um, so, uh, and then North Africa. So, you know, a lot of this, um, you know, it just, uh, you know, it's, it's really important in details. So, um, and then this is kind of over time what's been happening and you can see agriculture. So that really one of the original reasons I got interested in this was looking at agriculture because it's not a lot of green, uh, in the desert and Middle East, it's a lot of desert. So agriculture is very important for Turkey. Um, you know, kind of becoming, coming up almost like, you know, like Italians invented pasta and pizza and all these foods. And basically coming up with really awesome foods coming out of Turkey and helping the rest of the Middle East. You can see clothing is actually textiles and things are becoming big. Um, and services, you can kind of see, have been gone through some different phases here. But And uh, anyway, but you can kind of see there's there's other maps here showing uh, different like product spaces um, and uh, feasibility opportunities. Um, so... Uh, but uh, in general, uh, you know, they're all very helpful and uh, you can kind of select, um, you know, essentially what's, uh, what's going on um, and you can kind of see what's happening for Turkey. Anyway, I hope this has all been helpful. Um, it's an interesting place, uh, a lot of stuff going on here in Turkey. Um, love to check it out someday. Um, not sure if I'll be able to, but... Um, certainly, it helps to do some homework first and see what's going on there um, and uh, kind of study um, just overall uh, what's happening.